Hi guys and welcome to my latest video and today's topic might be controversial for some but basically I'm going to talk about if you're using a Raspberry Pi as a music streamer uh, is there any difference between using Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and Pi 4? And if you have no idea how to use Raspberry Pi as an audio streamer then you should first read or watch any beginner's guide on how to do that. And I also made one of these a few months ago, I will leave the link down below the video. Go watch that one first and then come back to talk about subtle details between different Pi versions. For the rest of us, let's continue. And I'm actually going to talk about two different possible situations. And the first one, if you're using only Raspberry Pi and then you're connecting it using USB port to your DAC. That's a USB connection. And then you just need a Raspberry Pi, nothing else. The other uh, option is if you use some sort of add-on or hat, as they call them for Raspberry Pis. And in that case, you're basically avoiding using USB outputs, but instead you're sending your audio signal through these pins uh, in form of I squared S signal. And then this other board is sending the signal to your DAC. And just in my case, I'm using Allo Digi1 board, with ha which has SPDIF output in form of either RCA or BNC connector, but you might be using some other board like Hi-Fi Berry or there are many manufacturers that produces these kind of audiophile hats for Raspberry Pi. So that said, let's begin with the first and the obvious difference and that's connectivity and features basically. And there is not much to talk about really when we, when we speak about that. Everything is pretty much the similar, but uh, the newer version, Pi 4, uses USB Type-C power connector, while the older one, Pi 3B Plus, uses micro USB. There are also some differences when it comes to HDMI connections, but we are not using that uh, when we are using these as music streamers, so yeah, we don't care really about it. When it comes to processing power, Pi 4 is newer, it's faster one, but when we use them as a music streamers, we only notice that basically during the boot up sequence. Pi 4 boots a little bit faster, 3B plus boots a little bit slower, but after that everything works equally well. All the formats and everything you pass through these works equally good on both of these versions. But there is one quite important difference that happened with Pi 4 version. Basically, what was going on with all the older Pis is that USB ports and Ethernet port shared the same bus. It's basically like they're sharing the same road for data. But with Pi 4, they actually introduced completely separate buses for USB ports and Ethernet port. Meaning that data coming in and out of Ethernet port will not influence data coming in and out of USB ports. And this is supposedly important if we are going to use them connected to our DACs via USB connection. Because now we don't have Ethernet and USB ports clashing over data bandwidth. But enough about theory, let's talk about real use testing. And what I did is I connected 3B plus using USB connection with my DAC first. I listened to it sometime and it doesn't sound bad. It basically sounds very similar to any general purpose PC or laptop or things like that. In my case, because I don't have any fancy Apple MacBook or something like that, if I actually compare Pi 3B Plus with my working desktop PC and with my low budget Acer laptop, I actually think that 
Pi 3B Plus sounds a little bit cleaner and a little bit better. That might be due to its lower power consumption and dedicated operating system also, but it's not bad. It's not any worse than any general purpose PC. But once you actually switch it and try Raspberry Pi 4, you immediately notice that the sound becomes neater and tidier. And I especially think about bass region and upper bass, mid bass, whatever you like to call it. There's just more control to it and it's more precise and more energetic. And in comparison to it, Pi 3B Plus sounds a little bit soft and bloated, basically. And uh, with mid-range, it's quite similar situation. Pi 4 sounds more energetic, it sounds cleaner. For example, plucks of string instruments or piano notes, they have more energy and they're etched better. With Pi 3B+, Plus, everything is a little bit hazier and softer, melting together somewhat. With Pi 4, now everything took its form better. Edges are cleaner and plucks are more energetic and you add that better controlled bass line to it and you actually get a sound stage that feels more precise. It feels like Pi 4 is pinpointing things going on on stage better because they're not overlapping with each other as much as with Pi 3B+. When I'm talking about highest frequency spectrum, I don't really notice much difference there. I cannot tell you that Pi 4 brings out some sort of subtle details or something that you haven't been hearing with Pi 3B+, I just don't feel like that. But everything else I mentioned so far, that firmer and better controlled baseline and that more energetic and crisper mid-range that outlines edges better is quite enough for me to say that Pi 4 is without any doubt better for music streaming. It just sounds tidier, neater, crisper and better than Pi 3B+. And if you plan to use them as they are with their own USB connectivity, Pi 4 is definitely a way to go in my opinion. Now let's move to the next part. What happens if you actually add an external digital interface like Allo Digi One, for example? And in that case, you're basically avoiding USB connectivity. And at that moment, you don't really care if Ethernet port and USBs are sharing a bus because your audio signal, your audio data is going through these onboard pins as I squared S signal to this board and then this board is filtering the signal, reclocking it, isolating it galvanically from the rest of the Pi and sending a very clean SPDIF digital signal to your DAC. As I said, in my case, I'm using Allo Digi One, but there are different manufacturers doing similar type of boards. And I believe that the conclusion made with this one will hold true with other hats also. That said, uh, the situation changes when we are talking about this arrangement. Now, Pi 4 doesn't have a lead anymore. You can definitely, definitely notice differences, but in my opinion and to my ears, it's more of a tonality difference th than anything else. So let's start with the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus that's so clearly lost over USB connections. Once a good digital interface, such as Digi1, is connected to it, sound improves immensely. Everything is tidier, neater, there is even more details in high frequencies. I will not talk about much about this because there is a whole review dedicated to Allo Digi1 board. I'll leave the link down below the video if you want to check it. 
but basically it lifts the audio quality to another level. And when I then take this DG1 board and I move it from Pi 3B plus to Pi 4 and I start listening again, I notice some tonal differences. For example, first of all, I notice a denser mid-range. A denser and more forward mid-range. And with it, some notes sound more energetic. But I also noticed that bass line sounds a little bit harder. If I can see, it's, it's not as relaxed, it's a little bit harder. And the highest spectrum, it feels like it cannot convey all of the subtle details and all of the air that the Pi 3B Plus and DG1 can. And I was switching back and forth and the impression with any song was always the same. 3B Plus and DG1 sounded a little bit more laid back, a little bit more calm, but I felt there is more soundstage depth and there is more air in the recording. Pi 4 and DG1 sounded a little bit more forward, a little bit more energetic, but with less air and with less depth. And if I personally had to choose one, and I actually have to because I'm using a Raspberry Pi and DG1 as my daily driver audio streamer, I would actually go with Pi 3B Plus and DG1. That suits my ears and my taste better. I feel that sound is a little bit more subtle, a little bit more relaxed. But depending on your own taste, if you like things a little bit bolder in the mid-range, a little bit denser and more aggressive, you might prefer Pi 4. It also depends a lot on your system. If you're having a system that's a little bit laid back in that mid-range section, Pi 4 might suit that system better. In my own, I don't have any problems with that. If anything, Cath LS 50s are mid-range forward speakers, and in my system and to my ears, Pi 3B Plus and DG1 simply sounds a little bit better with a little bit more subtlety. And this is definitely not an easy choice. I heard other reviewers too mentioning that they prefer 3B Plus and DG1, but I also heard some different opinions on online forums and things like that where people said, oh, and I actually exchanged 3B plus for Pi 4, I felt the sound improved. So this is the only thing I can tell you. I tried to explain the tonal differences between the two and you would have to choose for yourself what do you think your streamer should sound like and what do you think you would prefer personally. And with that it's time to finish this video and this comparison. And what I can tell you with certainty is that if you're going to use USB outputs to connect Raspberry Pi to your DAC, Pi 4 is a definitive winner. You have nothing to think about. Go for Pi 4. It's like 15 or 20 bucks more expensive, but it pays. It simply sounds better, tidier, more energetic. But if you immediately want to upgrade Pi with some additional digital speedy for any other type of board that's going to draw the signal from the pins, not from the USB ports, then it's much tougher choice. In my opinion, in that case, 3B Plus is slightly better choice, but some people uh, will not agree with me. So, what can I say? I like giving more definitive answers than this, but in, in this case, in this situation, I simply cannot. So, one last time. For USB use, Pi 4 without a doubt. For use with hat, in my opinion, Pi 3B plus a little bit better. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. Thank you.